Welcome! In this tutorial we will detail in a step-to-step -step fashion how to create a new Qmetrix wallboard. Since Qmetrix 17.06 the new wallboard functionality is available which allows the user to create, save and edit multiple wallboards to customize the call center monitoring. We will take a look at some of these wallboard editing functionalities by creating a new wallboard. From the Qmetrix home page we can see the last section of the second column is named wallboards. This is where the wallboards we create will be saved. In the first section of the second column instead, we can see the Start Wallboard button. Let's click on it. This way we will open the last wallboard we edited. Let's create a new one from scratch by pressing on the folder icon on the top right. Here we can select New Wallboard. When a new wallboard is created, it contains a simple widget, which indicates the current date and time. This is called the Clock widget. Let's check our, our wallboard configurations before adding other widgets. To do that, click on the wallboard name in the top right of the screen. Each wallboard is composed of different views. We can think of views as pages we can sort through. Each wallboard can be composed of multiple pages and each page can have a duration. If the duration is 20 seconds, for example, after 20 seconds the wallboard will switch to the next page and so on. We can alter various settings from here, but for now let's just return to the empty wallboard and click on the plus sign on the top right of the screen. This is the widgets menu. From here we can choose different widgets to add to our wallboard. Let's choose the answered call widget from a circle panel category. As we can see, the widget is now on our wallboard. This widget shows the number of answered calls on the selected queues. The circle is not completely filled because it represents the percentage of answered calls among the total calls that were offered to the queue. We can now resize or drag the widget with our mouse and doing this will trigger the save button on the top right corner of the screen. Click on the save button to save your wallboard. If we hover with our mouse onto a widget we can see on the top right corner of the widget an icon. Clicking on that will open the widgets configuration menu. From here we can set the widget's title, color and alarms. Alarms are warnings that the widget value has surpassed a certain threshold. Let's set a yellow alarm for 200 answered calls. And as we can see, the widget is now yellow. This is because the yellow alarm was triggered by the widget value surpassing the threshold we set earlier. For the widget configuration we can also change the widget color. Let's take off the alarm and set the widget to pink. Now let's add some circular panels to get comfortable with all the different options. If you want to read a detailed explanation of all the different components, you can check out Qmetrics manual. There you will find a list with all the components and their specific functions. Some widgets will show a big grey icon when they are added to the page. This means that in order for them to work correctly, they need to be configured first. For example, the circular panel SLA level percentage need an SLA level to be selected in order to show the correct value. To set the widget, open the widget configuration menu. Once we set the necessary property, we can save the widget and it will work. Now we can add some more widgets to a wallboard. Let's try adding the bar graph SLA widget from the widgets menu. We can resize the graph to fully occupy the screen in order to show all the different bars clearly. We will also change its color to orange. As you can see, Qmetrix wallboards are easily customizable. You can move around the widget and organize the space the way you see fit. Now let's add a new type of widget the Live Agent Info widget from the category Composite Items. This widget will require a manual configuration before working correctly, because it needs an agent to be selected in order to show its status. Together with the icon that represents the agent's state, it will also show for how long the agent has been in that state. There are three states, and they are Talking, On Pause or Idle. Our next step is to add a new view to our wallboard in order to be able to cycle between two views in a presentation fashion. To do so we have to click on the views icon on the top right of the screen to the right of the plus icon. This will present us with a list of all the views. 
If we click on the plus icon, at the bottom we will be presented with a new empty page of our wallboard. As we said earlier, we can click on the wallboard's name at the top of the page to change the settings of the current view. From here we can change the view's name to second page. We will now try out the table widgets. Let's go to the widget menu and select the live calls widget. This table shows all the ongoing calls and the selected queues. We can see the status of the call as well as other information such as the queue, the caller or how much time the call spent waiting. Let's go back to the widgets menu and add the live queues table. Similarly to the previous widget, this table shows all the information regarding the queues we selected. Only active queues will be shown. We can see information about the name of the queues, the number of agents on them and how many agents are in different statuses. The last table widget is the live agents table. This table, combined with the other two, gives you a complete overview of your call center. This widget shows all the information regarding the various agents logged in on our queues. From here we can check the agent status, the extension and postcodes, current calls and conversation times. Now all this is complete, remember that it's composed of two different views and we can cycle between them by using the circular buttons on the top left of the screen or the play button to make sure the wallboard cycles between them automatically. This will be all. Thank you for watching and remember to check out our websites using the links in the description. See you next time.